Welcome back to my 100% playthrough of Heretic on the Black Plague difficulty for the PC played through GZ Doom. We are also doing all levels on a one start. And this is episode 3, mission 3, The Confluence. Let's begin. Alright, so you start off in a waterfall area and you can hear the waterfall sounds, but if you open this area to the right, you get a uh, health staff, less runes, and some power, which are quite useful in this starting area if you have no weapons. But if you're doing a continuous playthrough, this is a nice little bonus. But yeah, as you can see, cyclones and fire going crazy now that we shot that fire gargoyle. We got some infighting going on. Uh, which is always fun. <laughs> but we gotta go down and we gotta face the music because our Lich is waiting for us. Ophidians are waiting for us. Pretty much everything is out to get us and we are not safe in our homes. What we can do though is let the Iron Lich in fight. It's always fun. While we deal with the uh, gargoyles here. Yeah, just, just let the Lich do do his thing. Get in the fights, get in the petty struggles with these like other losers. Yeah, these all these minions of despair are just losers. Don't even worry about them. They're all pushovers. Nah, no, they're not pushovers. This guy is definitely not a pushover. If you're not prepared to fight him. Because of these goddamn tornado things. These Ophidians are definitely not pushovers either. But we're going to treat them like so. Just to piss them off. So they fire at us more aggressively. Ha! <laughs> It's not how this works, but hey. So, now that we cleared the area out, here is the yellow key. Then we get it, these holes will open up in these, uh, like pillars, revealing more Ophidians and some items they were hiding, like uh, Tome Power and Shadow Sphere. The Shadow Sphere. But now we have the yellow key, we can open up the yellow door. Hello, Ophidian! I'll be back for ya! First, I gotta deal with the Saber Claws. I don't know, I'm out of health staff ammo. Well, that's okay. We can use the wand. We can humiliate these losers. Yeah, just... Wand them. Just give him a little bit of the old pew pew. Pressing this area will open up a secret with the ethereal crossbow, which is very handy at this point. So, use it on these Ophidians. And that's it. We can press these buttons to open up some areas, including this portal. But first, we're gonna grab some more stuff. Like a wand crystal, oh so important. <laughs> and now we're gonna go in here. Cause it has a ring of invincibility and the green key. And that Ophidian is still shooting at us. What an asshole. But now we can go into green key door. Either one of them. But we're gonna go through both. Just to clear it out. Saber claws through them. Yeah, so be ready for that. We can go into this door first, which is on the right uh, side. Through the right green key door, because this has a lot of secrets in it. So I'll demonstrate after I deal with these annoying purple fucks. So... Another one of these annoying purple fucks is guarding a torch here. Deal with him. And you get the torch. 
not much use personally, but hey, if you want to brighten these areas up, if you like Fulbright like me, you can use it. Now there's a quartz flask here, and there's a crystal vial here, but open this up, and you get a secret with a bag of holding. And deal with these fellas here, rain on their parade with the uh, crossbow boats, and you'll get the dragon claw. Now these don't open, but these do, and they have saber claws in them. Hello, friends. I've missed you. Oh yeah, they do open. Yeah, yeah. But they only open for saber claws, so be ready for that. And be ready to kick their faces in. Or a crossbow, or staff them. I'll pick up this extra claw orbs, or two of them actually. Cause disciples this barrel sure like to drop them. Now, when you're going down into this area, open this uh, wall with the trident on it, and you'll get a secret. And don't forget to go into all these uh, little holes of this like sort of maze-ish area to deal with all the golems, nitro golem, the works. A shame I don't have any time bombs on me right now. I would love to use them on these golems, but that's the way the cookie crumbles. Anyways, going down through this one, we'll have ghostly nitro golems who almost trapped me there. Or, they're not nitro golems, they're regular ones. And going through this portal will send you back to where you got uh, the portal to the green key and the secret with the crossbow. So, uh, not too much going on there. There's a little bit of fun going on here, though. These fellows are, like, tossing the orbs at you. And the Sophidians are here. Fun thing is, they can't really shoot at you. And uh, unless you're using a hit scan weapon, it's hard, kind of hard to shoot at them. Or is it? Yeah. This is a weird uh, encounter. I'm not 100% sure about it. It's the only uh, one of few pieces of heretic. Look, I got hit by a red axe and that really stung. But it's one of the. F this place with the Ophidians is one of the few parts that I'm not completely sure about. It's kind of like uh, those maps in Doom which have the pinkies that are, like, stuck. Now, as you can tell, by the way, I'm humping those walls. Uh, they'll open soon, but they don't open by uh, humping them. They open when you get a trigger. And that trigger is the blue key. Yeah, it opens up to reveal wear dragons. What a shocker. But hey, we can get some mileage out of that uh, invulnerability ring. I don't think we'll be needing it for anything else. And hey, look, there's time bombs. And the quartz flax are in here too, in these uh, places where the trident symbol was. So that's good to know. So, you've got the uh, blue key, you can now enter the blue door. An Ophidian will pop out of this area with the banner, and several gargoyles will wait for you. They're basic gargoyles. This Ophidian was guarding a Hellstaff, but we already have one. We have one with full ammo. But if you didn't get the secret at the start, it's a good way to get the Hellstaff. Also, pressing this switch up here, where the undead warriors were, we'll open this area up, and pressing this, we'll lower where this was. 
and pressing in between will reveal an undead warrior guarding the Gauntlets of the Necromancer, which is a secret! But, since we lowered that area, we can now get all the goodies, including this Phoenix Rod. Make sure to press both of the buttons, just to make sure you got everything. But yeah, this is a good place to get all the stuff. All this wonderful weaponry, all these ammo. Yeah, when you step through this, it'll close. And that's a problem because these guys are here. These friends. Use the tome on them. Tome up the hell staff. Uh oh. Yeah, we were in a bit of a pickle there for a moment there. But it's fine. It's fine, guys. But, now we've done that, we can press this button, which will open this place back up. However, um, this is not the last we'll see of this area. No sorry. I don't think so, at least. Now, in this area are some nitro golems. And I'm going to shoot fiery stuff at them in return. How you like that, huh? Yeah. Now all of these banners are blue except for this one. Which has a secret in it. So grab it. And when you try to grab this, this crusher will try to crush you. Just like the good old days of episode 1. It's been a while since we've seen one of those crushers, huh? Up here are some golems. Basic golems. In fact, I'm going to use the uh, time bottle one. It's been a while since we used that, huh? They're just so good on these guys. It's a mystic urn here. And we can finally kill that Ophidian, who's been an asshole to us for the earlier part of this level. Pressing this will have... Uh, Revealed two holes, but we're not gonna go there yet. Instead, we're gonna go in here because there's another secret with the rings, the wings of wrath. Now I'm gonna double check that area with uh, the disciples to make sure I'm not going crazy. I think I am. I could have sworn there was something here. But no, I'm just going nuts. So, anyways, when you go in here, you'll have some saber claws coming out. Yeah, two doors will have opened up. They both lead to the same place, which has an iron lich in one of the uh, areas. Gonna play hit scan Harry with him. Always the most effective way to deal with these guys. He's already dead. Disciple of the Sparrow here. Behind the exit. Now if you drop something, you can't pick it up, because you, you'd have to go through the exit. Anyways, speaking of going through things, this place has a secret. Which has a map scroll, and uh, a lift back up to the start. Now if you excuse me, I'm going to double check for the secret I missed, because I know I did miss one. And it was right here. I am a fool. After you play the map for a while, this will probably open up. Which has a mystic urn. Which to me is useless. Because I'm already at full health. And it's the end of the level. And that is the confluence. Apologies for opening the auto map a lot. Uh, it's been a while, but I think I remember most of the things. And we got all the kills and the secrets. And the items too. Always a good bonus. But that is the map. Quite an interesting one. 
it's got some nice music in my opinion uh, and some little quirks and level design here and there mostly with the Ophidian area um, but other than that I think it's pretty good but the next map we'll be going to is E3M4 the Azure Fortress which we will be doing in the next video but until then Toodaloo.